Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Nor14 and today we're going to do an awesome review of the Vizio M5.1.286 Dolby Atmos DTSX soundbar. So as you can see here, we got this new sleek black subwoofer. We have the packaging, you know, Vizio gives you all the equipment you need as far as cables and stuff for any way you want to use it. If you want to use it as Adobe Atmos, you got the HDMI. If you don't, then you got the coaxial cables, you got the old fashioned red, blue, green cables, everything. Okay? Even have an instruction seat, sheet and a uh, scanning code bar to show you how to set everything up. So Vizio gives you everything, all the wires, all the accessories, even if you want to hang it up on your wall, it gives you every accessory you need to use this bad boy now here's the new subwoofer now it's a six inch i got the eight inch the old model so that's what we're going to do we're going to compare as you can see here the old model the uh, sb 36 5.1.2 f6 to the new vizio m 5.1.2 h6 version now this is the 20 2021 model as you can see and i'm in the man cave here and uh i'm just giving you a look at both of the satellite speakers this is the subwoofer i'll give you a look at the old subwoofer here is the sound bar right there as you can see it's 40 inches compared to the old one which is 36 I mean, it's a much better build quality people. Let me tell you, this sound bar is heavy. It weighs a lot. As you can see, the new one does both DTSX and Dolby Atmos. Okay, the old one, which is behind it, it didn't do DTSX. It did a virtual, which it used an algorithm. But it didn't allow you to hear things in DTSX. This one does. So you can hear two different ways. Well, really three with the virtual. How you want to hear Dolby Atmos and how you want to hear 3D audio. Okay. So as you can see, I got it hooked up to my Xbox. But right now, I'm just giving you a once over here so that you could just see the difference in the quality and everything like I said this thing is beautiful it's well built you can actually see the up firing speakers this time compared to the old ones where it had this little cheap little mesh really light you know you can tell that it was a budget system this bad boy right here I got for $300 in 2018 from Sam's Club this bad boy I got for about $542 at Walmart okay so they just started building enough of these so people can actually get these in their hands. You know, so it's a lot of people that got them. And I'm going to test it for you and let you know, is it better, okay, than the old one here? Because if it's not better than the old one, there is no reason for me to keep this. But we'll see. So we're going to go around to the back. That's the boxing we're going to go around to the back here so I can give you a look at the old subwoofer. They pretty much hook up the same way. You get the subwoofer and it hooks up both satellite speakers to it. Okay, so the only cable you got is the satellite speaker cable to the subwoofer. It's Bluetooth connectivity, uh, the Bluetooth that they use in the old model was perfect I never had any issues with it as you can see that's the uh, satellite there as you can see this is the new speaker it's really light compact I just got it sitting on top of the old ones <laughs> just like that so I can test it out and see uh, uh, what's the quality of these is it better I'm gonna have them both playing at the same time Okay, so I can hear one and then I'm going to go and try to hear the other. Go to a different uh, HDMI channel and try to hear the other. So that's what we're going to do on our TV here. 
and see which one better, but I'm going to have to get up and change the HDMI again, you know, to do all that. But that's something you don't got to worry about. Mr. North 14 is going to take care of that. So I just wanted to give you an opening video, let you know these are the, the new soundbar from Vizio. I got the older model. I wanted to know, do I want to upgrade to the newer model? How good is it? How crisp, crisp is the sound? How much is the bass since I had a I have a bigger I have the eight inch subwoofer. This is the six inch. You know, I, the build quality on this thing is amazing. Way better than the first one. So we're gonna see if it lives up to everything it's supposed to. But we'll see. And I'll let you know. And I'm going to show you what type of test I'm going to be running on it, what movies. I like to play to test the sound system so that I can get it accurately set up for my home. Now, what I wish they had with this new model is some type of direct live or some type of microphone to position the sound better and to position it more in your room. Uh, a lot of the new 2021 systems like the Sony one for $1,800 does that. They pre-map your room. And those are the best ones, okay? Because it doesn't matter what type of configuration you have your speakers or anything in. It's going to play that, you know, according to your room size. Now, in my movie room over here, I have all that. It's a little dark in here. But, yeah, I have all that set up because everything is in the walls, as you can see. And it takes the room and it just maps everything out and it says where's the best seat in the house is right there so it's going to tell me uh you know it's going to let that be the best position to hear anything in the room and as you see i got my little step stool so that i can adjust <laughs> the throw camera there but anyway i just wanted to give you guys a quick Walk through as you can see, I'm getting everything all together right now, and I'm going to give you a review. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. This is Mr. North 14, and I'll be back in just a minute with the review and let you know how it sounds. Okay, YouTube, it's Mr. North 14, and I'm back. And basically, I just showed you the width and how much bigger the new. Vizio soundbar, the 5.1.2 is, the M series, is to the old SB36 series, okay? I've had about two days to test this bad boy and really run it through its paces and everything, and the first thing I have to say, it's far superior in every way to the SB36. I mean, this thing is killer, people. It's killer. The sound quality is great. They got a new function on there now for when you're playing games that you can click on presets for the equalizer. I mean, on a whole different level, this soundbar, the M-Series 5.1.2, is better, again, in every way. Let's start out with movies, okay? It's easy to set up. I just plugged it up and I was up and running. It basically recognized my TV input. It recognized the subwoofer. It hooked itself up. I mean, before with the SB36 series, because you had to hook it online, you had to wait all day. And sometimes, I mean, when I first hooked it up, it practically took me like two hours because it would not hook up to my internet. Another thing that was bad is that when it did hook up to my internet, it would automatically do updates, even though the Vizio updates weren't that, you know, squared away. You get that update and it could mess up your soundbar. You know, people have problems with the soundbar, the SB cutting off, cutting on, crackling with the sub making a crack sound and stuff like that. If it was up too loud, it made noise. You know, it was just a whole list of problems, okay? This bad boy has none of the problems. It doesn't turn off by itself. It has crisp, clear sound, the M-Series, and none of the issues, absolutely none of the issues 
that the SB36 had. Now, remember that SB36 was made in 2018. Okay, remember it also was 300 something dollars. That's how much I got mine. Okay, this new series one, this M series, it's going to cost you about $550 with tax. Okay, but the quality and to be, you know, kind of under $500, the quality you get in this thing is beyond compare. I have to give it to Vizio for having a sub $500. Adobe Atmos soundbar, but the quality, like I said, it's heavier, it's thicker, it's more robust, it's bigger. Even though I had an 8-inch sub with the SB, that 6-inch sub is louder, pumps out more bass, a higher quality. Everything in the M5.12 is better, okay? Even the points to the... The poor little guy here, this little guy here, the remote, the remote is 100% better because it has a screen that you can actually see at night, okay? You can actually see this at night, uh, and that's the amazing thing about it is that you can see this at night, okay? Uh, another thing that I like here is I have it turned up, as you can see, all the way up to 30 when I'm listening to music. Usually on the old soundbar, I could barely have it up to 21, okay? If I had the SB up to 21 or something like that, it was too loud. It was too loud to watch a movie. It was too loud to watch a video game or play a video game. It was just loud. And if I took it up to 26 or 28, me and my wife couldn't enjoy a movie. Now, somehow, they balanced out the sounds. They balanced out everything. And now, when you go into Plex and you watch a movie or you go into Netflix or something like that, it just sounds 100% better. Okay? It just sounds 100% better. So, as you see, I'm going into Plex now. And, you know, I always go to my go-to uh, videos that I know that sound good in Dolby Atmos and I can really test the Dolby Atmos. Now you won't be hearing any sound. We won't be um, going to any videos because I don't want to break any copyright rules or anything like that. But the app has just been updated with the Plex so it's operating kind of crazy tonight. So I probably won't get to show you too much anything here yeah so it's basically telling me my server's down and I'll just have to fix that so we'll leave out of Plex right now okay but you know my go to to is ready player one it's the beginning the driving scene I told you guys all that I mean it passed that with flying colors another thing I do is I have this little USB card and what I put on this is all lossless audio and the videos like a maze and stuff. The videos they give you to really project and test out how good Dolby Atmos sounds. You know, it's going to be playing everything to its fullest. All the sounds are going to be tweaked that much better just so you can hear birds flying around or anything like that. It passed that with flying colors. Um, you can get, you hear more of the height effect with this new sound bar than you did with the other one. Even though they added the height volume to it so that you could increase it a little, this one you really don't need to increase the height sounds. You could just go with the movie preset and really enjoy it. I mean, you can crank up the bass a little bit. All I did was crank up the bass a little bit, crank up the dialogue a little bit. The center speaker I cranked up a little bit. And basically, that's all I did. I mean, it's so much easier to 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 set your 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 levels with this, okay? Because it's just only certain things you have to set, and the presets are really good. So with the movie, like I said, I only had to increase the dialogue, I only had to increase the surround sound just a little bit. Uh, and the center speaker, you know, and, you know, in the bass and the subwoofer. I just tweaked a little up so I can get that little shake or a little rumble, okay? So, like I said, 
I use this disc because everything is in lossless. Lossless audio. That's the cleanest, purest audio you can pretty much get when you're working with Dolby Atmos. Now, another thing that I learned about the M series is that they don't let you know that you're in Dolby Atmos. They let you know you're in Dolby Atmos by letting you know you're in Dolby MAT. Okay? That's just master audio. That's all that is. Okay? That's just true HD, which is what you need to get Dolby Atmos to be played in. Okay, so it'll tell you, it'll let you know if you if it if it doesn't say Dolby Atmos, it says Dolby MAT, then you are still listening to it in Dolby Atmos. The great thing about this new sound bar is that everything is on. Dolby Atmos is on, DTX is on, and DTX Virtual X is on. So let's say you go into TV and you're watching a regular Dolby Digital or PCM sound. It's going to automatically know that you're watching that TV program, and it's going to automatically switch to uh, DTX Virtual X so that you're using those high speakers even though you're on regular TV. This thing is awesome. You know, and a lot of other more expensive uh, uh, units do that, Dolby Atmos units, but to have not only Dolby Atmos, not only DTX X, and DTS Virtual X, but these are all on. So it's looking for a signal that it understands. And once it understands it, it's going to cut on and say, hey, this is what you're listening to. Hey, this is what you're playing. You know, and it's going to pick that sound for you. So I was so excited at that. But then, you know, knowing that all the, 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 the videos and the movies they can play and stuff like that and how good it is with that. The number one thing that I was surprised at, at how it sound was the music people. It was the music, the music. Wow. It is outstanding. If you have title and you've listened to, uh, Dolby Atmos music, You'll be blown away. You'll be blown away. But the preset on this thing for music is so good that I was basic, basically listening to music like I haven't ever listened to it before on my old SB36. It was literally on that music setting putting me in a true bubble of music sound and was throwing the artist's voice around. Like if it was a background singer saying something, they would throw it to the right of you, to the left of you. I was listening to Little Duvall, Living My Best Life, Smile. And you know, when he say, smile, girl, smile, girl, you're just hearing that to your, in your right ear. You're hearing that thrown in your left ear. You're hearing it thrown in front of you. And then all of a sudden it's reverberated back to your right side. You know, I'm living my best life. Smile, girl. Smile, girl. And you just hear it. And you'll just be amazed. And the music, like, it's floating above you in the air, above your head. It was like that was a great bubble of music I was in. And I was really enjoying it, just able to sit down. And I just kept listening to different songs and how that music setting just transformed how I listened to music. You know, so besides it having great movie audio and doing what Dolby Atmos does, you know, putting that sound off the wall, putting you in that bubble of sound and making you feel like, you know, you're part of the picture. It does the same thing with music now. And I'm going to tell you that uh, Adobe is going to get upset at this and they're going to take that feature because there is no need for Adobe, Adobe Atmos music with the quality of music that good. There is no reason to pay that premium price. And that's the sad part when I'm just listening to Amazon Music and it's sounding so well, that preset. So I even checked out the, the game preset on there. It's awesome. You know, usually when I was playing my games, I just used the movie on the SB because the movie had the best sound effects. It did Adobe Atmos the best way. And when I listened to music, I didn't use it on the music setting. I used it on the movie setting or direct, you know, 
because they just sounded better. Okay, but for the what what tripped me out is actually the music setting, the movie setting, and the game setting on this device is far superior than I could ever believe. So people, this soundbar is amazing. It's the new 5.1.2, the M series. I had the SB36, got that in 2018. I can truly say that I am upgrading to this soundbar, okay? Because I enjoyed the SB 5.1.2, but this thing is just light years in construction, light years in capability, you know, and sound. The six inch suffer, uh, uh, subwoofer compared to my eight inch subwoofer just beats it. The height speakers you can see on there and you can feel and you know they're working. You don't have to guess. You don't have to say, hey, I need to find a video that shows height to see if my height speakers are working. These bad boys, I'm watching the Horizon video and you just hear that spaceship come above you and it's like a jet flies past your right ear, fly past your left ear, and you just hear it and you hear the room rumble. I felt the, the chair because I got my subwoofer behind the chair it's just rumbling, rumbling on my back. And you can just, like, you can not only hear the sounds, you can feel the sound. So it costs $542. You can get it. I mean, that's with tax. That's how much I paid for it. Um, I didn't know if I was going to keep it because I thought, well, I got one that I enjoy. I got the previous one. But you know what? I'm upgrading. I'm going to take that soundbar and put it upstairs in the living room and break it down just to the subwoofer in the soundbar and just use it as a subwoofer soundbar as a, you know, just a regular soundbar and subwoofer and not put the satellite speakers up to it. And I'm just going to enjoy the SB upstairs, you know, like that so I can just get a better quality of sound because uh, I really don't need in my, in my living room to have, you know, Dolby Atmos because the ceilings are really high. But this bad boy, this M-Series, is coming down here into the man cave. I mean, what I really liked about it is that I could turn up the volume to like 30, 40, you know, and it wasn't too loud. That was my problem with my SP. I couldn't turn it past 21. I can get it up to 26. But when it was that, it just seemed like it was loud. It wasn't clear. This one is clear. You turn it up that high and the movies are clear. The dialogue is clear. The speakers are crisp and everything. And you just, your mind is blown away. And you're like, man, I enjoyed the SB, but was this what a better quality soundbar would have sounded like? And I really don't know. I really don't know because I don't know in 2018 if they had this level yet. I think it had to be 2021 and for me to upgrade to this M series. So I hope you guys like my review on the M series 5.1.2. You can get it for about five, $542 with tax. Um, you got to get them now because I don't think these bad boys will be around there. Under $500 if they are around. Uh, because of the shortages on chips and everything, I would say wait to Black Friday. You could probably even get them for about $300, $400 on Black Friday, but I don't think any going to be around. I'm happy I got mine now. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Mr. North 14. Peace out and enjoy this Vizio soundbar.